like this is what I was using just it's a bit dusty this one of these sort of it's a Sony USB supply I can't really make out the ampage of that but it's only probably you know low ampage now USB can be a low ampage so I thought I'd try this in my computer upstairs which has a 2 amp USB port on it and it got very hot now you might see it on here I have just tried it on down here on this laptop USB port and it's getting hot enough to burn and sc well scorch this card here so I'll just show you that it is plugged in turned itself off there but as soon as I pick it up it seems to come on even though I haven't really touched the button. I think you might need to keep the button almost well lightly touched while you're using it if you don't want it to turn off. Sometimes if you're concentrating on your work and you're holding it quite still then I assume it might go off on its standby mode. Right, let's try this here now. So we're getting 230, 240, 250 and I can smell it scorching this card here, 260, and I have seen it go to about 330, this is not ideal, remember that again this Vinci VC99, I think we parts lower temperature than it actually is because when I tried it this tip the same tip in boiling water should be 100 it was saying 95 now you might be able to see just that down there that it has started scorching this so it has scorched this cardboard it's just corrugated card now let's see I was trying this again upstairs with this just oh and by the way the light sorry about this let me zoom back out the light does seem to come on brighter when you well when I plugged it in a higher ampage part on this laptop that thing I was plugging it in obviously not enough amps I don't think and that's certainly cutting through that first part quicker This is cock isn't very, you know, much good really. So it was quite badly distorted anyway. Let me put this other light on. And see, it's almost already chopped up big chunk off there. So I'm, see I'm not touching the button and I think it is going turning itself off on the standby mode there even as I'm moving a bit. So you might need to keep your finger on that just touching lightly you don't have to press this like button and that takes it off standby by to keep it off standby I'll just and you can see how quickly that's gone pork now. Not too bad a hole that. Basically what you want to be using this for is tidying up. Let me try and get well, I think this one has a few strings on. You can probably see the smoke there, so that's mainly off the card I think. There's certainly a smell of plastic. I'm just doing that very lightly. Yeah, so is that going out? Keep my finger on the button. It might be better to hold it almost if you're left handed or right handed, depending. With the LED facing you and put your thumb on the button actually. 
just to hold it. I think that will stop it shutting down and going into standby. This would take some careful use in a way just to make sure you don't burn yourself or melt parts of the plastic that you want to keep. This isn't too bad this one. I mean it, you can see there's lots of lines on here. So you can see the amount of smoke. Quite a lot of smoke there. And it's bubbling here. So that's how hot it's getting because there's a bit of plastic on there and it's bubbling. I can just see the edge from there that's bubbling away. I don't know, there seems to be some like stuff. I don't know if that's oozing out the bottom or if it's the plastic melted down and run down there. You want to be careful that the plastic doesn't run down and get jammed in the device here, the sort of connection. Just show you. I'll, this is basically meant for putting holes in, so I'll try and pour. Oh, it's so easy, that one. I mean, I can go through you can probably see that going right through and the smoke is a bit annoying I'm hoping that's mainly the cardboard but maybe the plastic so that's why I would probably recommend keep your thumb on the button and I think that will stop it like switching off you probably can see that is brighter, that LED there. And then when you're looking at it, if you glance over, you can see that it is lit if you want to make sure. I'm going to, it does say it might smoke quite a bit for the first 10 minutes anyway. So that is the trick with this. You need the amps. There's no point having what I was using. Probably using, whoops, using one of those like wall units, I don't think, because they're quite low amperage, generally speaking. Seems to have stopped smoking at the moment. So I'm going to press, well, put my thumb on the button. I mean, that smoke smelled more like cardboard than plastic so I think it's got a bit of the card let's try this one more time you get a bit of a different angle oops Oh, good chunk off that. Ouch, that's still a bit hot. Let's see if we can... Obviously I'm having to look in the camera and such like so. It's just rough and ready this just to show you. And after all it does seem to work. So I'm going to put this part on the front of the video because people want to see stuff working and then I'm going to put the error on the back side of this video where I was powering it off something that wasn't strong enough. Now see it started smoking there but again she's getting quite a bit of smoke there yeah that is the plastic there I can see it bubbling
I could see it's smoking quite a bit when I start doing that and I can certainly smell it. It melting plastic which was certainly one fear one fear of this. But then it has been on that cardboard, yeah. So I don't know. But that's why I was obviously says make sure you've got enough amps to like drive it. Eight watts, five volts. maths and you can work that out. Yep. Some plastic dripping off that actually. I would just say to unplug it before you try and clean it. Okay. Yes, that seems better when it's plugged in a decent sort of USB port. I'll just do this Measurement again, see if it's changed anything. Let's try and get a bit more need to tip and that's already scorching that card. So it's saying 300, oops, sorry, 312 odd, 340. I think that would push to about 400. What does it say? I don't know, I've lost the paper now. It does say something like 400 not on the website. So it might push to that in f like free air like this. Once you touch a part, obviously that's going to take some heat out of it. Yep, so a bit of care and it could be good use. This has just arrived this morning. And basically it's for use with 3D printed parts to tidy them up. Things like that. Possibly any repairs. My first, very first impression when I opened it, it came in this sort of almost like plastic type bag, just a label stuck on the front, nothing else was in it. It's very professional. This is a Kickstarter. USB powered, so basically it heats up like a tip, I suppose a bit like a soldering iron. And then you get different shaped tips for doing various jobs on your 3D print. So the light back on, so hopefully we can get those warnings. Scoop tip, point tip, needle tip, and a knife tip. I've got my Vichy VC99 here. I hope I can do a temperature thing on it. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do with that. Right, so obviously we get this. That sort of comes in. Card, which is like the box, there's a label here, not a toy, do not eat, general sort of safety warnings, so that's sort of wrapped in in the box and then you get 
the unit itself. Um, there are three chips there. And it looks like there's one chip actually on the unit. And that is only this metal plate there is the stand. Now I believe there is a stand you can download off their website. Print out yourself. These are very lightweight. That's my very first impression. There's a needle point. That is pretty sharp that. So it is quite fine. Whole thing in the end there. Can that come off? Yes, so you're going to have to be careful that you don't lose the rings there. Something around the edge. So I don't know if this could do a cleaning up. I haven't had a close look yet. Look at the other ones. So then you get this scoop tip, like a very small spoon. nailed fastening bolt can also come off that one the knife tip which is at quite an angle there looks quite sharp that edge so be careful of that I estimate that to be about half a millimetre thick there This is one thing that the nail bolt will not come off. So there's those three. Obviously you get a USB cable. I'm going to turn that the right way. My very first impression is very pleased actually. And it comes with this sort of jack plug. Looks like a 3.5 stereo jack. USB two port basically on the other side. Well, it's reasonably long. I think that's about two meters actually. Hang on just a second. Yeah, I've just stood up there and I measured it against my high time six feet, and it's about that. So you get quite a good length of cord there, and then you'll get the stand. Stand that up so that is to stand at a little bit of an angle. I'm not sure how well you can see that. One end's a bit longer than the other. Not sure which way around that's supposed to go. Let me put these into here because they're going to roll off. And then here is the actual like, pen unit itself. bit of a grip so obviously the plug plugs in here the jack sort of plug in the end some an LED I think that is there's an LED there oh there's a screw there another screw up here And it's got this cover on. Now, does that screw off? Yes, it does. It seems like it screw, screws off there. Like a metal insert. Good. I'm unsure how. No real instructions, so far as I can ascertain at this moment. So I imagine you turn this, unscrew this. Does it unscrew? Actually that doesn't seem to be unscrewing. Ah, I've just unpulled that out there. So it's almost like, it seems like that 
and you plug in. But there's no like nail bolt on this one. So I'm having to take one off the other ones and that will tighten up there. Quite a tight fit. When I'm doing that there seems to be some whitish powder almost coming off. You blow on that. So there's that end. It looks, I imagine this actually makes a metal electrical contact there on this sort of tube and then the outside makes a metal contact so I don't actually notice some of the white or ceramic I imagine it is coming off there so I imagine that outside there makes a electrical contact with that quite lightweight yeah, it's a bit like a pen I haven't got the wire in let me try putting that on the stand Put that stand either way around, I imagine so. Now basically you can't put that on. Ah, I see. So that's why is that will that actually will that nailed like bolt head actually come out there? So it might have come with one. Only that's stuck in here maybe. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be in there or not. Oh yes, so obviously that is the nail board that goes with that other piece which I thought was missing but it's not and then you get that sort of cap there. That's a very snug fit that. It's not going to come off some bumps on this I don't know why it's got these bumps on to be honest but it looks okay it's not it'll help you certainly grip it I think or maybe if you're going to lay it down somewhere well let stop it rolling possibly so yes you do get that other nail board I thought that was an actual physically inserted into there and you couldn't get it back out of this cap Okay, so let me show you these tips again, so you get this one. Just a second, sometimes it's hard for this camera to focus. Quite a pointy one, conical I would call that. You get the knife. I think that is pretty sharp, so be careful of that. Get this scoop and a small spoon, and you get a very neat of point type fitting. As I say, some I think that could possibly do with a clean round this edge. Let me try this one in here. Yeah, it fits all right. Fits on all right, I should say. suggest that you want to tighten it up reasonably well. Is that a button or not button? I thought it might be an LED there but no. It seems to be very silver. Right let's get it plugged in. I have my laptop, a laptop here. So I'm going to plug this in. Just a normal USB port. Now we might get a bit of smoke when we first do it. It does say touch switch and indicator light. Well, yes, the indicator light. I presume this is a switch. Now I imagine, because I'm being pressing it quite firm, that 
it is touch that is if you touch it now it's to me it seems like it's going to be easy to touch if you say holding it like that and you move it about see my fingers touching it there so I'm not sure how that touch switch works it doesn't really say much Five volts, eight volts. What I'm going to do is change over to this like scoop bit, I think. So I'm going to turn it off. Well, unplug it because I'm not sure how you turn it off. I'm not sure what happens when it goes into standby mode, which it says it goes standby mode. I think after. Is it 25 seconds? Yeah, not used for 25 seconds, so it must be of the sense whether you're moving it or got hold of it. Well, is that like indicating that you have to keep your finger on this touch thing there to keep it heated? So I'm going to hold it, it is still plugged in there. The instructions could have been better. I can smell a slight bit of burning, well, melting plastic slightly at the moment. Well, I've got my finger on there, not the unit, I imagine, because I've been using it on this. Give me a few seconds while I've got my finger on here. Sorry about this, the LED is on in there. Difficult to see, but it is on. There's a good chunk down here. As I say, I'm just moving slowly, not really putting it under any pressure. It seems like the bits can still stick there while using this conical, well, needle point it is, this one. So that's probably not the best shape bit for doing things like this with. So I'm going to unplug it and let it cool.